One, two, one, two. Hello, my beautiful creatures, and welcome to the fishbowl. Oh, well, that's German and French. Oh. I'm Lionfish, and it's my pleasure to be your host this evening. Is that a man or a woman? I'm aiming to bring some soul to the proceedings. I hope that joke wasn't too cheesy. <laughs> soul singer, maybe. Soul cheese? They say it's never too late to start. And trust me, I should know. Started late in life. Got successful later. I might be a lionfish, but I'm very gentle, I promise. I only use my barbs to defend myself when absolutely necessary. My barbs? A barb can be an attacking joke. So fear not, I'm here to have a good time. Is it a drag, a drag act? And I'm hoping to get under the skins of this fabulous costume. That is quite cool. That's cool that's cool. Lionfish, that was exquisite. Okay. So beautifully performed. I don't think you're an opera singer. I feel like you are some sort of cabaret, theatre, musical singer. So, Lynn Manuel Miranda. I love Lynn. I think that's a very good guess. Mark Gilligan, who you said? I felt like I was at the Royal Variety performance. That was so good. <laughs> you see, when you look at the clues, uh, the soul singer, I thought it could be Heather Small. <laughs> because that was some deep tones in there. Yeah, <laughs> deep tones. <laughs> I never got the Rita Ora. Honestly, I think I know who this is. Oh, Rita, you could be a woman. The face is kind of frowny, a bit like one of my favorite movies, Finding Nemo. And Dory, and who plays Dory's voice? Ellen DeGeneres. Never before has an audience gone, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Finally, Jonathan. Fishy out there said, once I've peeled off these skins. Yeah. Skins was a very popular TV show. I love that show. Yes. i tell you who was in Skins. Who's that? Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Nicolas Cage? What episode of Skins did you watch? Are you getting... <laughs> are you getting Skins confused with Face Off? Yes. Yes, OK, fair enough. Carry on, carry on. I tell you who was in Skins, Jack D. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go now because I can't top that. <laughs> uh, mate, do you want a clue? Yes. yes yeah. please. Okay. What little nugget of information can you give for us? Help me. 
I've appeared in places I've never been. I've appeared in places I've never been. Maybe it's someone who's been in trouble with the law and they're just trying to set up an alibi. Yes. <laughs> Have the panel taken the bait? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Lion Fish! <laughs> hey, Rita, where do you keep a lion? In the cage. Maybe you got it. <laughs> Have the panel caught who Lionfish is? Or have they been fooled, hook, line and sinker? The panel finally got to hear this lionfish roar. But can they work out who this swish fish is? Now, I don't want to carp on about it, but in my last performance, I struck a note with the panel. Fish. Although they're still fishing for my real name. Lynn Manuel Miranda. Nicholas Cage. Jack D. And I'm not planning on being their catch of the day anytime soon. I think this might be a woman. I think it might be. <laughs> Cultivating good friendships is something I think is very important in life. Cultivating a gardener. So I do hope we can be pals. Supporting and celebrating one another is something I'm very passionate about. What is this yellow car? New York, New York City. Strong female figures have always been a great source of inspiration for me. They have helped me to grow as a person, and I like to honor that. There is a quiet but powerful strength in femininity, so it'll be no surprise to tell you that I'm a feminist. A jet by Conkle. Was that Conkle? feminist. Am I being mysterious? <laughs> good. I do love a mystery. This person's very tall. Mmm, mm -hmm. taller than me. Love you, my 
Davina. I love, love, love the fact that you've come out and delivered this performance where you've completely blown us away, but we still have absolutely no clue who you are. <laughs> I don't know if you're a man or a woman. Who is it, Davina? I'm going to say Macy Gray. Really? Wow. Macy Gray sings a bit like that. This is what I have to work with. I'm Leslie Davina. <laughs> Mo Gilligan. There was a clue, strong female figures, right? And possibly they played a female figure. Oh. And this guy did play a lady who was in a sketch group, which is Little Britain. I thought David Walliams. <laughs> That's not bad. David Walliams. That's not bad. Jonathan. I love the performance. And it's interesting, because you did the song which you all know from the movie The Bodyguard, this being movie night, but you did the Dolly Parton version. Mm. So I'm thinking it's an older person. Could it be Boy George under there, ladies and gentlemen? Beautiful. I, will, I hope so. Um, I was thinking, if it is sort of a drag performer, could it be my favourite drag name, Bimini Bomboulash? <laughs> could it be Bimini Bomboulash in there? Rita. The New York taxi, extremely tall, RuPaul. RuPaul from RuPaul's Drag Race. Very good. It's a pretty good guess. That's like that. my guess. Do you guys want two lies and a truth? Yes, yes. please, Lord. Or, as I like to call yes. it, two lions and a truth. Oh. Am I right, guys? Oh. Can we get your first clue, please? Things I've done have been called extreme. Ooh. Things ah. I've done have been called extreme. Well, that's oh, that makes some sense to me. Mm. Yeah. Second one, please, Lionfish. I know how to make a very good point. I know how to make a very good point. <gasps> yes, that also makes sense. Third one, please, Lionfish. These fins have made waves by spinning discs. Mm. That also makes sense. Spinning, spinning discs, discs, spinning, spinning bodies. Discs. OK, oh. I think I've got it. Who? Oh. The beret. If you think of the beret, what didn't we say? Who wears a beret? Soldiers wear a beret. Yeah. Who is oh. a famous soldier who also had not only had hit singles, it's but Biggie, Biggie, bum, bum. I saw him once. <laughs> Here he goes. What's Biggie Biggie Bum Bum? <laughs> <laughs> He also had his own nightclub in his house in Europe uh, <laughs> where he used to spin the decks himself. I think it is <laughs> James Blunt. Blunt. <laughs> That's who's under the mask. I see that, actually. Oh, well, while I'm being gently fanned here, if you're angling to know who's inside, you'll have to wait until the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Lionfish. <laughs> well done, <laughs> So good. Head off down the tunnel, my friend. I am so confused. I'm confused with this whole show. <laughs> Oh, the panel lost at sea with their guesses. Who do you think's behind the mask? I think I've already spawned some mystery amongst the panel. <laughs> Coming next, it's Lionfish! My heart goes up, my heart goes down I fall in love, and I fall back down I keep you anything you want, everything you want Anything, anything I think you're scared of getting close to your own You could have said this way Baby, I should let you know My heart's going up, my heart's going down I fall alone, and I fall back down Tell me to stop, cause I keep on going Tell me to stop, cause I keep on going Tell me to stop, cause I keep on going
Give it up for Lionfish, everybody! Yeah. What a welcome back to the stage, firework! <laughs> Just there, my friend. I don't know what we're gonna do. They're both great. Before the panel decide who will be unmasked, our celebrities are gonna give us one last clue. Yes! Yes! And here's the yes. fun bit. The clue could be about them or about their opponent. It's also known as, it's not me, it's you. Listen <laughs> carefully. Firework, let's hear your clue. Don't get mad, get equal. What do you think? Don't get mad, get equal. I think she might be talking about lionfish there, and if lionfish is who I think lionfish is, they're someone who maybe didn't get the chance they felt they deserved, and indeed then went on to be a big star, so got equal. <laughs> you said that like you were sort of a Bond villain holding a cat. <laughs> I expect you to die, Mr. Domit. <laughs> Lionfish, let's get your clue. They'll swear they've made a royally big mistake. Royally big mistake. You know what it could be? Lionfish could be talking about firework, and yeah. firework could be Meghan Markle. That was your last clue of the night. Who gets on Mars panel? That is up to you. Get discussing. Oh. Our movie night is fast approaching its final act, but whose secret? It's decision time. <laughs> Mo, can you please tell us the name of the Mars singer the panel have decided to save? Joe, this has not been an easy decision. But the person that we are going to save, we still feel like they have a lot to offer. And that person is... Firework! <laughs> firework! Wow! Congratulations, Firework! We'll see you again next time. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Firework. Wow, well done. Hell of a time to Firework. You've been amazing. Who are you? Who are you? Who's that the Lionfish. I'm so sorry. That sadly means your time on The Masked Singer has come to an end. But before you reveal your identity, panel, who do you think is behind the mask? I'll come to you first, Mo. I'm going to say it is uh, David Walliams. OK. Jonathan, I'm going to come to you next. Well, whatever I say is going to get a better reaction from the crowd than David Walliams. <laughs> I mean, I could say Mary Berry again, I'd get more reaction than David Walliams. <laughs> I think, under the mask, it's Mr Will Young. Rita. I agree with Jonathan, so I'm going to scrap everything I've said and I'm actually going to also say Will Young. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're Finally, Davina. Could be Macy Gray. Well, there's only one way to find out who is behind the mask. Take it off! 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 Honestly, it's been so lovely to play with all of your fins the entire time. <laughs> I enjoyed fanning you. <laughs> I was most concerned about you, Jonathan, noticing my voice. It was really hard to try and disguise it, and, and it's been the most, you know, incredible opportunity, you know, and such a brilliant challenge to take on. As someone who's agoraphobic, it's the perfect show. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone ever sees me? I just got my mother in the big head. Can I ask 
you the it's not me, it's you clue. Which one was you? That was the Royals one. Yes. Oh, well, the Royal one, yeah. I swore at the Jubilee, <laughs> Golden Jubilee, uh, during sound check. Oh, my well God. And it reverberated. <laughs> yes. oh my God. There goes the OBE. Does that mean that the other clue is for fireworks? Yes. OK, that's helpful. Oh, oh note it down in your meticulous book. <laughs> You were doing such kind of graceful, balletic movements up there. I think that's, and that was what helped sell the character, of course. And speak of sort of moving balletically, there was a clue in there that was said on point, but it was with an E on the end in point. Oh, like and ballet, didn't you study yes. ballet at some yes, point? Yes, yeah, I tra oh. trained in classical wow. ballet. It yeah, was, yeah. That was wow. the one that was right. Wow. That was the oh. one. Going through some of the clues as well, there was the beret on top of the taxi. Yes. Taxi could be cab. Cab Beret and I was oh, in the musical... Oh, you were the MC, weren't you, in the right, West End? Cabaret. Yes, of course, yeah. you were in oh, Cabaret. Yes. Isn't it almost to the day, like, 20 years since oh, yes. Pop Idol? Almost yeah, to the pretty, day. Pretty much is... You are kidding. Almost to the oh, day, Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. yeah, I, yeah. Watched yeah. I watched that religiously growing up. That's 20 years ago. Yeah. 20 years. Wow. So huge. And yet, Will, you still look like a teenager. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you've been absolutely incredible. Thank Honestly, you. thank you so much. A huge applause. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Well, that's all, folks. We hope you enjoyed our Saturday night at the movies. Join us next week for more masked magic. Up next on ITV is Anton Deck's brand new show, Limitless Win. Stay tuned for now, performing one more time, unmasked at last, ladies and gentlemen. It's William. Everybody.